Charlia, the solitary island nation of the Northern Seas. Where under the watchful gaze of Thaliac, patron deity of scholars, academics hoard all manner of knowledge and secrets. Once, they deigned to accept foreign students into a distant colony maintained in the Dravanian hinterlands. But Hades, why are you narrating? How swiftly or are you in my once the first Guardian <laughs> boot set hostile foot on Alamegan soil. So averse to the prosecution of war, these what? men of wisdom. Idleshire? Your would-be allies. I thought they'd never let us off the ship. What's next then? Entry applications? Do we have to do that? Hopefully they find no cause to deny us. I guess so. Hasn't Charlie and Orbit severed relations with foreign powers? Those of us without direct ties, myself included, may be refused outright. It is true that, as a nation, Charlian only forms trade agreements with a select few neutral countries. Mm. But from a practical standpoint, an island cannot afford to be overly strict with its borders. Especially not if that island's people are wholly devoted to the accumulation of knowledge. If one no. submits the proper paperwork, with satisfactory evidence of identity and intent, then foreigners may be granted entry. Maybe doesn't mean they will. May. Yeah. <laughs> you and me, Estinian. We're on the same wavelength. Quite. So let us be absolutely clear on these points before we proceed. Okay. The immigration officer will ask for your affiliation and your purpose of visit. Considering Charlian's views on intervention, I strongly suggest we avoid any mention of the Scions. Kral has laid the groundwork for us to act as associates Kral. of the students I've of been saying Kral. and our ostensible Oops. reason for being here is to aid in their order's restoration. Grahatia. It might expedite our progress should an actual student be seen at the head of our little group. Would you mind leading the way? Of course. The immigration offices were this way, as I recall. Shall we? We shall. Greetings. We've just arrived and are eager to make our way into the city. Would you be so kind as to process our entry applications? Uh oh. Certainly. Oh. I see by your mark you are an Archon. Mm. I am. Grahart here of the students of Baldassian at your service. I was assigned to an Aeorsian survey team, but have returned to assist with the reformation of my order. My associates here will provide additional support. Uh, uh, Very good. I okay. have paperwork <laughs> detailing your group and its scheduled arrival for today. Hmm. Okay. And it seems some few of your companions are also Archons. If you'll step forward, we can process those applications first. Ishtola rule. See how it glows. That list is etherically linked with the citizen registry kept in the main repository. 
Interesting. I've confirmed your status as Archons and amended your travel records accordingly. Welcome Thank home. You. Oh, not me. Now, who do we have here? Alphano Leveilleur. And Alizé Leveilleur. Your applications have also been approved. Having said that, the streets are abuzz with talk of how House Leveilleur's lord disowned his young oh. progeny. Well. He was wrong. But whatever. And while such personal circumstances constitute no reason to deny you entry, I urge you to avoid exacerbating your present situation. Times are quite troubled enough already. So daddy throws a hissy fit and now the kids are being warned? I see. We shall keep that in mind. They're way too polite. These last two are not Charlian natives, but you will find their credentials are in order. An application was made in advance. Hmm. Name and occupation? Occupation. Adventurer by chance. Champion of Eorzea. Is that too... Is that too much? I feel like that's too much. Artisan? We'll go with that. I'm all of those things, but like... Champion Indeed. of Eorzea. Your profile describes you as an adventurer, but one also trained in the rather more constructive pursuits of procurement and production. You may enter. Rather more constructive. Are you saying being an adventurer is not... You know, whatever, it's fine. And you, sir? Estinian Valino, formerly of the Order of the Knights Dragoon in Ishgard. Now just formerly, an emo man. And what, pray tell, is your profession now? Grumpy tall man. Oh. Oh, Estinian. <laughs> He's just lost in the world. Crow? If you'll allow me. Yes. My associate is a mercenary, hired for his strength at arms. Oh, Surely she's so proud. Of the dangers we often face on our forays into the wilderness. Mistress Baldessian, if you insist on sponsoring his entry, then so be it. Why is this little Lalafell so stern? But while I appreciate that desperate times call for desperate Don't measures, wag your finger. I find your choice of company concerning. <laughs> be advised. I have every confidence in my chosen company, dear and trusted comrades that they are. But I thank you for your concern. One of these days we'll get a Stinian to crack a smile. Croyle, it is good to see you. Likewise, long voyage notwithstanding, you will seem none the worse for wear. Debatable. There is much to discuss, but this is hardly the place. Like, let's be on our way. I was just visited we? by Heidelin on the boat, but like, it's fine. Oh! <laughs> Welcome, friends, to Charlian. Thanks. 
As your mercenary, I should hope my welcome includes a generous salary. Okay. Well, I had to say something, <laughs> Sir Taciturn. It's a good, it's a good way to put it. I'm glad I spotted your ship coming into port. The officers are born bureaucrats and sticklers for detail. In any case, you may relax and take a moment to get your land legs back. Okay. Krell sweeps the scions with a speculative look. What's this? Okay. Speculate away. Oh. I had thought to launch directly into an explanation of what I've learned and how we might proceed. But this is Nariu and Astinian's first time in Charlayan, and for the rest of you, a homecoming that was long overdue. You must have places you wish to visit and people you're dying to see. Therefore, I propose we postpone our agenda so that you all may have sufficient time to recover from your journey and get your bearings in the city. Once you've settled in, we can reconvene at the Baldesian Annex. How does that sound? Tis a fine suggestion. We may not be welcome in the Levier estate as such, but I should like to nose around the neighborhood all the same. I am equally untethered, as it were. There is no particular place that my kin call home. Still, I would not pass up the opportunity to reacquaint myself with the city. Likewise, a quick tour of our old haunts might even yield some useful gossip. The annex was west of the Aetherite Plaza, wasn't it? I shall join you there anon. Yes, we'll see you there. I too have places I would be remiss in not visiting forthwith, by thy leave. Yuriange, you know, like, you could just talk normal. <laughs> what of you, Astinian? My services as a guide are yours for the asking. That won't be necessary. Until we reconvene, I prefer to wander as the wind takes me. So dramatic. I could... oh. Agreed. Well, Raha, would you like to join us then? You've been gone for quite a while, and this would be the perfect way to refresh those dusty old memories of yours. <laughs> oh, of course, if you will have me. Come, Naryu. Charlene awaits. Oh, I didn't- I, w I also wanted to go where the wind takes me, but that's fine, I guess. Hey. After you, my friend, I am more than content to follow your lead. I know you are. You adorable bottom, you. What? Keep him at your side to- in order to proceed with quest objectives. You can leave Graha behind by entering a different area using the Aethernet. This is weird. Or by putting too much distance between you. You can also speak with Graha Tia and select the option to part ways. If you wish to have Graha Tia <laughs> accompany you again, return and speak with him at the original location. While he's accompanying you, next try speaking with Creel. This is cool, I think. I wish it showed him, like, in a party list. I, I know, I just wanted to see what- okay. All set, then let us be on our way. Our first stop, amusingly enough, will be the last stand. It's a cafe on the west side of the harbor. Creel is also now accompanying you. Lead your two- why am I leading? It's my first time here, whatever. Lead your two companions to the last stand and speak with Creel at the de designated location. While you are accompanied, you may encounter conversation points along the way which offer additional topics of discussion. Enter the glowing area and speak with your quest companions to initiate these bonus conversations. Enjoy exploring your surroundings together. This is kind of cute. This is kind of cute. I kind of like it. So I guess we're going over here. Oh, okay. Let's go. 
to this place where, uh, yeah. With all the unusual wares coming and going at all hours, I expect the assistance of an intrepid adventurer would be highly appreciated. I see no reason why you couldn't undertake any tasks which, which pique your interest. You have been cleared by the immigration officials, after all. I look forward to the day your name is celebrated in Charlotte in the same way it is in Eorzea. I know that you're in love with me, but like, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Just kidding, keep going. This place is called the Peristyle, and it is the first stop for cargo unloaded at the docks. You'll find the unusual necessity sorry, you'll find the usual necessities for daily living and other imports vital to running an, the, an island nation, but also supplies that further Charlayan's pursuit of knowledge, namely the large quantities of books, specimens, and samples. Sorting these stacks certainly seems to keep the attendants busy. Okay. Where is it that we're going exactly? Okay. Now that is a sight one could hardly forget, the great statue of Thaliac. As a student of Baldesian, I was usually quartered on the Isle of Val, but I would gaze upon the scholar's wise features every time I returned by ship to the city. This path leading out towards the sea is known as the Thaliac Stoa, so named for the statue of the scholar which stands at its end. As you know, the Charlian people prize the accumulation of wisdom above all else. Thus, when Thaliac was chosen as our patron deity, it was more a matter of pragmatism than belief, an alignment of principles, as it were. We may have honored him with a rather impressive sculpture, yes, but our faith is not so restrictive as that of, say, the Asgardians. Individual Charlians can and do worship the divinities of their choos choosing. That's nice. It's nice. We're here, we did it. And here we are, the last stand. I may have mentioned this before, but though our research into nutrition and food preparation is quite extensive, the average Charlian tends to regard seasoning and flavor with a certain indifference. Oh no, white people. Um, oh, how can I put this? The food is, um, it's bland. As encapsulated by our infamous Archon Loaf, the prevailing sentiment towards cuisine is dietary value first and taste a distant second. Ugh. There was one pupil at the studium, however, who could stomach the school's insipid meals, meals no longer, so he quit his lessons and poured all his savings into building a proper eatery. And so the last stand came to be. It is, as the name implies, the sole dedicated outpost of fine dining in Charlayan the one and only bastion of the culinary arts in an isle of, of otherwise mediocre fare. I seem to recall their burger being hailed as one of the most impress the more impressive items on the menu. Not that I ever had the pleasure of eating one myself, because you were a typical Charlian when it came to cheap and convenient, Raha, for sure, but surely Tataru has since taught you how to appreciate a well-prepared dish. We should all stop in when time permits and sample the cafe's delights. Shall we press on? The stairs to the side of the cafe there will take us up to the Aetherite Plaza. Okay. Is there another shard? No. Oh, to the right of the cafe? Is that what she- I already forgot what she said. To the side, just to the side, okay. I see. These aetherites are cool, though. Check it out. Ooh. Okay. Oh. No, no, no. Not you. 
an unusual shape, isn't it? I was just thinking that. I assure you, however, that it's perf a perfect... A perfectly functioning aetherite. Remember to attune yourself before we move on. Now, being the diligent tour guide that I am, I should make mention of the Confluence, a research facility located on, on this very plaza. Its much vaunted discoveries are the reason Charlayne stands at the forefront of teleportation technology. In deciphering the underlying principles of elegant aetherites, it allowed us to understand and reconstruct what was essentially a lost art. And off we go to our next destination. Our path leads northeast to the Agora, Charlayne's largest marketplace. Well, I gotta do the thing first. Why is my nose running? Ooh. Just like throwing this around. Okay. Um. I guess like just right there. Do you mind if I browse the shelves for a moment? There might be some hidden gems I've yet to read. You're so cute. Only a moment? How optimistic. Feel free to browse all you like, but we won't wait around for you. Uh, perhaps I'll return late here later then. These little open-air book stalls are so uniquely Charlayan. It I'd always thought them a common sight until I visited other nations. Welcome to the Agora, where you can find wares made in Charlayan as well as a wide selection of imported goods. They also used to sell questionable prototypes from the various research institutes, but I think that practice has thankfully died out, for the most part. Otherwise, I can think of no better place to stock up for your next big adventure. Am I overselling it? <laughs> on a more serious note, the next stop on our tour is one which has particular relevance to our ultimate purpose here. We must head back to the Aetherite Plaza, follow the path north, then climb the stairs to that imposing building at the very top. What? That one? Is there... are there any other spots that I should be standing in first? Um, I thought we were climbing stairs. Oh. It seemed like a strange set of directions. Unless you can't get there from around there, but I feel like that's not true. This reminds me of... Final Fantasy 15 music. The Nymphaeum. These little... <clears throat> These little decorative features are typical of Charlayan architecture. Aside from the research wing, our headquarters on the lost on the Isle of Vale Val, were rather simple and rustic by comparison. Okay. This is the Nymphaeum, an area dedicated to the blessings of water. For Charlians, water represents more than a life-sustaining liquid. It is a reminder of the Great Flood which, pre <clears throat> which precipitated the birth of our nation. I think I left my water upstairs too. As well as a symbol of the knowledge which flows from Thaliac's divine ewer. This is the reason you see an abundance of fountains throughout the city, and a, pro and a propensity for utilizing water as a decorative feature in our architecture. Oh, we're going upstairs more. If I, uh... Switch... <clears throat>
This grand structure before you is the Rostra. The name refers to the original public platform erected here, upon which for a forum of elected representatives would deliver orations and debate policy. Although the stage has since evolved into council chambers, the nature of the forum and the duties of its members remain largely unchanged. Am I boring you, Raha? You seem awfully distracted. My apologies. From here one can see the entire city spread out below. The vista put me in, the, in mind of my arrival in the first. Those who had gathered at the Crystal Tower asked me how they might go about building a new home. Naturally, my answers were all inspired by my knowledge of the finest settlement I could think of, the great city of Charlan. And bit by bit, those few buildings grew into a town, a community, the Crystarium. I can almost see its echo. I see. Feel free to come up here whenever you wish. I don't think the counselors would object to you simply enjoying the view. Such memories should be treasured. For now, however, the tour must go on. Our spectacle of sightseeing concludes with the fittingly named Journey's End. Walk down the stairs to the east and continue straight ahead. I feel like this <laughs> expansion is going to make me emotional the whole time. <laughs> We've arrived at Journey's End. History tells us this was where those who put, ash who put ashore with Archon Nyunkrupp built their first homes. In the present day, it serves as the residential district for the most important officials and the oldest Charlayan families. You'll see that one mansion is clearly larger than its neighbors. The estate belongs to our friends from House Le Levillier. Levillier, I don't know. All things considered, we should probably keep our distance for the time being. Yeah. And with that, we bring our little Charlayan tour to a close. I hope it has proven to be an entertaining and enlightening experience. Now, shall we head directly to the Baldesian Annex? You remember the way, don't you, Raha? Let me think. We head down towards the harbor, cross the bridge to our right, and follow the path below the Aetherite Plaza. Correct. After you, Naru. Why after me? I am not the one. <laughs> Can I? Oh, it says to keep my. It's, she said to keep our distance. I wanted to get the aetherite shards. It's fine. Did I get this one? No. So we have to walk, I guess. Talk to you in a second. As the joyous look on Raha's face has undoubtedly informed you, this is the Baldesian Annex. If you continue up the hill, you'll arrive on the doorstep of Phenomen- of Phenomenon. Okay. But I think we've explored enough for one day. We can take you there another time. Inside with you, then. Oh. I'm back, and I brought Naru and Raha with me. Ah, you were right about the ship, then. Hello, Graha. It's nice to see you again. And it's a pleasure to finally meet you, Naru. I've heard many a tale of your exploits. Oh? Ojika? Oh god. Ojika Sunjika? 
I don't know if that's that's probably wrong. It's been an age longer than that, probably. Allow me to introduce Ojika Sunjika, administration offer, officer for the students of Beldesian. He oversees the day-to-day -day business of the Annex. You may recall meeting his cousin, Ajika. Oh my. Oh yes, Eureka. <laughs> I've read the initial reports. Quite a shock to hear what's become of the Isle. Do take care if you have the opportunity to rejoin the expedition. This place is like a second home for the students. The Isle of Val served as our main headquarters, of course, but we often fa had occasion to visit Charlayne. Whether to make use of the city's research facilities, attend conferences, or procure supplies from distant shores. And the annex here was built to provide lodgings for our members while we engaged in such activities. Ever since our former headquarters, along with the Isle itself, vanished, the annex has served as our base of operations. And yet it feels so empty. With so many lost to us, our organization is a shell of its former self. Sag. The day will come when we will see the students rise again. But first, we must ensure the Telephorai fall. Through that door on the left, there is the main hall, where we can discuss our options moving forward. Thank you for nodding your head to it in case I missed the whole to the left part. Once everyone, <clears throat> once everyone arrives, that is, you probably have time to rest before our discussions begin in earnest. And that's the inn, I'm assuming. Uh, I had private. I've had private quarters prepared for you in the Andron, so f please feel free to make yourself at home. You got it. Ah, uh, the nap rooms, perfect for an afternoon doze. Oh, I didn't mean to give you the wrong impression. The chambers are quite well appointed, far more so than some cheap roadside inn. You may be assured. Oh, I thought you were just inviting yourself to the room with me. It was simply that we were often so busy with research or exhausted from journeys abroad that we would slip into the Andron just to steal a few winks. And thus they became, became known amongst the students as nap rooms, even if many such naps might last well into the following morning. Say the word, and I'll be happy to show you to your chamber. Hopefully the others won't be too long in coming. I'll wait for you all in the main hall. Am I going to get visited by ghosts when I go to sleep here? Or is that only in the Crystarium? 